Hello everyone, in this video I will discuss an important update regarding Microsoft Teams incoming webhook app which is set to expire by December 2024. But don't worry, there is an alternative solution. I will walk you through how to use Power Automate to capture webhook responses and post them directly into Teams. I will demonstrate how to test this setup using Postman so you can see how the responses are processed through Power Automate and posted in a Teams channel as an adaptive card. Let's dive in. So first you need to navigate to make.powerautomate.com. From the menu, I will click on create icon. Here I can create different type of flows. But let's explore some templates. So if I click on the templates from the left hand menu, and if I search for webhook, you can see there are few templates available post to a channel when a webhook request is received or post to a chat when webhook request is received. So for now, we are interested in posting that message into Teams channel. So we'll select this template. We'll click continue and we can click on create or edit in advanced mode. I will click on edit in advanced mode. So we can then see how the flows look like and we can rename the flow. We will rename this flow. We'll call it incoming webhook test. So the trigger for this flow is when a team's webhook request is received. Okay. And if I click on it, you can see it is saying the URL will be generated after save. So once I save this flow, it will generate a URL. Then we can use that URL to submit our API responses. So this flow will receive that request and process it. Next is going create an adaptive card and if I click on post card in a chat or channel it has content in there and if I click on the loop it is having an attachment so anything within the attachment array it will post that into teams channel as an adaptive card so let's go ahead and save this flow if I click on save now the flow is saved successfully and it's ready to test if I look at the trigger again I can now see a URL is present there. Now let's try to test it. If I click on test from the right hand side and if I click on manually and click test, if I put type is message and if I just say flow and click on run flow, this is throwing an error. Flow and the ID of the flow cannot be installed. Now I'm not sure how exactly you will test this from here but I have a workaround to test via Postman. So I will cancel that for now. The flow is saved already. We need to get this HTTP URL. So I will copy that URL and then I will come to Postman website. If you are not logging or you need to create an account, you can easily create a free account or use your Google to connect. Once you connect it, you can send an API request. I will click on new request here. The method will be a post. So we are posting a request and we will enter the URL which we just copied from the Power Automate flow. We'll paste that URL in here. It will automatically generate all the query parameters in there. Next, we need to provide a body for this post message. So we can see something inside Teams channel to card. If I click on body, I will select raw and then the format, I will select JSON format. Let me insert the body here. I will put this syntax in the video description below. You can take it from there. So what I'm saying here is the type is message and then attachments. This is what the array I'm looking for inside the Power Automate flow. So attachment is an array. Now we are saying the content type is application VND of card dot adoptive. Content URL, I'm not providing anything. We are providing the schema URL, which is the adaptive card.json, and then the type and the version number of that schema. And then in the body, I'm saying the type of this message is text block, and I'm just printing hello from Postman API inside the adaptive card. So let's quickly test this. If I click on send, before we do that, I need to go back to the flow and I need to see which Teams channel it is posting the message. So because we were using a template, if I click on 
postcard in a chat or channel, we need to provide which theme and which channel we need to post this message. So I will click on this cross, click on this drop down, and let's select key point theme. And then next to the channel, let's clear custom value. And then I will click on the drop down and I'll the journal channel of key point theme. Okay, so the flow is ready. Let's save that flow. Now we know flow will take the any incoming webhook values and post the message in an adaptive card and put them into teams channel. And we know it is putting it to key point teams and general channel. All right, so let's go back and test it. So if I click on send, if you get a response as one, which means it's a response and it is accepted, 202 is accepted, which means this API request has been submitted successfully. Otherwise, you will see some error message here that can relate to the message body or header not being added correctly. Now, if I go back to the flow and if I click on back so we can see the flow main page and we can check the history of the flow. As you can see, the flow ran successfully. It ran for only nine seconds. If I click on the history, we can see a webhook request is received and we can see an output here. And if I click on post card in a chat or channel, there's only one card because we were only posting one message in there in the attachment. So we can see that output here and it's all working fine. If attachment, it will then add a card for each attachment in the teams. Now, if I navigate back to teams, the message has been added to this channel as an adaptive card. This way you can add incoming webhook messages directly into Microsoft Teams. We are just sending a text message as an adaptive card. But if I go to Microsoft site, there are many different samples are available. For example, this is a poll generator adaptive card. So we can take all the body information from here until end we copy it and then if i come back to the postman i can take that body information this is where the body is closing and i will just paste that here and i think we have one extra curly braces there i will remove that as well so this one is sending a poll request as an adaptive card so you will see the question and the different choices. So let's click on send to test this. And then if I go back to the teams, now you can see in the team, the adoptive card is showing the poll header and the choices and the submit button. So you can send the poll request through an incoming web hook. So this is a little way how you can use the adoptive card to display different type of messages coming through your web hooks. Thank for watching this video. I hope you found this tutorial on using Power Automate to capture webhook responses and post them into Teams helpful. If you have any question or need further clarification, feel free to drop a comment below and don't forget to like, subscribe and share for more updates and tutorials on Microsoft 365 Power Platform and beyond. Stay tuned for more content and I will see you in the next video.